Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before 12 noon in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York. It is Wednesday, 4th day of April. 2018 and this is the daily report for gold and silver incredible price swings in the financial markets today with gold closing in essence unchanged 1337 that's off about 30 30 cents but that's after moving to 1352 in overnight trading silver down about 10 cents at 1629 and a fractionally lower u.s dollar 89.80 down 0 0.05 points the recovery of the Dow Jones Industrial Average was quite dramatic as it traded substantially lower overseas, opening up 500 points lower this morning in New York and then closing up 230 points at 24,264. That is a 785 point range. Finally, Bitcoin continues under pressure, losing a little bit over $600, 6870 and 6815 in the CBOE and CME futures exchanges. Last week, I spoke about the fact that with the current trade dispute between China and the United States, we could see immense and profound price swings as statements come out from either China or the United States, which would transform the immediate market sentiment. There cannot be a better example of that than what we witnessed over the last 24 hour trading period. Gold is currently trading in essence unchanged down about 40 cents at 1336.90. However, as you can see by this daily chart, that is the low of the day because for the majority of overseas trading last night, the marketplace actually took a single ounce of gold back up to 13.52.50. That is this high here. But by the close in New York today, we had given up all of those gains and in essence, the market closed unchanged. Traders, we are looking at a 240 minute candlestick chart. The actual day of April the 4th began on this candle. This area of the chart represents 12 midnight in Honolulu, Hawaii, which corresponds to six o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. And we can clearly see in overseas trading, once a announcement was made by the Chinese government that they plan to initiate additional tariffs on 128 U.S. goods that they import, totaling about 50 to $60 billion, a proportional response. That sent the Dow Jones Industrial Average, your futures contract, down about five, 600 points, and at the same time, drove gold prices substantially higher. Each of these candles represents about four hours in trading. So for the next eight hours, we would see the market move from about 1337 up to these highs at 1352.50. This morning, not only did President Trump send out a tweet but I believe more importantly, the next economic advisor for the White House, Larry Kudlow, came out with statements that said that all of these proposed tariffs on both sides are simply posturing for negotiations so that they can avoid a trade war. And we saw the market completely reverse from these highs to track back to, in essence, unchanged. And when we look at a 720 minute chart, which represents two candles per 24 hour time cycle, we can see this utter and complete polar opposite action between overseas trading last night and the follow through trading this morning. Lastly, I did send out a special trade alert last night suggesting that aggressive traders can add to their long gold position. Traders taking that call would have gotten in a little bit cheaper than where we took our initial position, but still got in roughly at about 43 or 44. All traders are along with stops at 1330. And my recommendation is to maintain your current long position, maintain your current stops. Now, whereas gold had a tremendous upside spike, when we look at a 720 minute silver chart, these two candles would represent the total trading session, a 24 hour period. We can clearly see that silver was much more lethargic. It did trade slightly higher on the trading day and then closed dramatically lower, closing down by about six tenths of a percent. We remain neutral to bearish on silver. 
And traders, lastly, a quick look at Bitcoin and Bitcoin futures. It appeared as though there was a real distinct potential that we would see some sort of a key reversal in the market from the bearish activity that had been the overall characteristics in the market. We identified a three-day pattern that is a Three River Morning Star variation. However, to actually take a call on a Three River Morning Star, you need to see a confirming candle. A confirming candle for this bullish pattern is always going to be that the next day contains a green candle with a higher high and a higher low. Obviously, that did not transpire. We go back into bearish mode with a pretty strong break, 68.90 down about $570. We can clearly see the move down when we convert our daily to a 720 minute chart. And there, what we can identify is not a Three River Morning Star, but rather a Three River Evening Star with a confirming candle. That would be this candle right here. Therefore, we are looking for Bitcoin futures to track lower. Last week, we spoke about the fact that as China and the U.S. posture for some sort of negotiations and as we get closer to the real potential of a trade war, we could see some pretty erratic price swings in the market. And that was certainly evident over the last 24 hours where we saw tremendous downside moves in the Dow, tremendous upside spike in gold, only to see that reverse when the markets return to New York. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.